I already smell tear gas in the air. Not noticing any magazines in the uh, the rifles that the National Guard members are carrying right now. They are in full gear. Uh, mass, uh, body protective uh, shielding on their shins and body or whatever. I think we have uh, successfully answered the question if the curfew was going to be uh, be uh, working tonight. Clearly, it's not. The National Guard line is following back. The National Guard line is appearing to fall back. The protesters are pushing in. The National Guard is appearing to fall back. Objects are being thrown at the National Guard. All right, I've got the camera pointed at what looks like a police unit moving in, and I believe they have tear gas guns with them. I'm gonna guess that the uh, the National Guard just fell back uh, that you know quarter block just enough to uh, secure the line with the bridge. So they have walls on either side of them. Tear gas uh, officers with tear gas are coming in. I'm just trying to mingle with the uh, the press over here.
Correction, those uh, law enforcement officers also have some rifles as well, tear gas and rifles. Rifles with magazines. I'm not sure if they are, are rubber bullets or not. They're concerned about the overpass, people dropping things on them, National Guard and the police. More uh, police officers responding, coming up to the line here to help secure the line. Witnessing a uh, Minneapolis police officer take aim with his tear gas gun right now at the large mass of protesters. There goes the first. There goes the first. I'm putting my mask on now so my voice will be restricted. clear my uh, voice is coming through. Keep sharing the stream, folks. Keep sharing the stream. Everybody share the stream. Get this out here. Objects being thrown, a bicycle wheel and tire assembly has just been thrown. They are firing directly into the protesters right now in response to the protesters throwing objects at them. They are firing directly into the protesters. I assume rubber bullets, crowd control type things. I see another grenade type device getting ready to be deployed. people right here on the side that I just showed you a second ago. <coughs> oh, shit. Ah, hold up. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't get any closer. The gas is coming. There's some homeless people located right there. There's some homeless people located right here on the side of the building. That was their encampment. They're not protesters. And they just got tear gas directly. They have no mouth coverings, no protection whatsoever. Oh my God, can't barely breathe. There we go, okay? This is a homeless person. He's not a protester. You see with gas, she has nowhere to go. She has no curfew to, she can't respect a curfew with no home. Those are gunshots. Those are actual gunshots. Those are hand, uh, handgun gunshots that I'm hearing right now. I'm not sure where they're coming from. I'm pretty sure it's not police at this time. the protesters who's actually responding to her. This is one of the protesters, not law enforcement, not the National Guard. This is one of the protesters 
who is uh, responding to the aid of a, of a homeless lady that was uh, shot in the crossfire of the crowd control that was uh, shot in the direction of the protesters. is advancing, I'm following you. Lots of crowd control being deployed. The law enforcement is, uh, is advancing on the uh, protesters. It looks like exclusively na uh, the police, not National Guard. I think National Guard are holding the line. Gotta get out of this gas. Ah, oh. oh, rubber. Journalism's fun, guys. Super fun. Ah. You trying to go up the hill? Here. Yeah. Right, you want to go all the way up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. That's all right. I say I understand completely. Stand by with me, stream. I'm just trying to get this person to uh, safety real fast. Y'all be careful down there. All right, you got it from here. Okay. All right, y'all take care. Sorry it happened to you. All right, looks like the uh, police and National Guard line is falling back even farther than before. They may be backing up what's happening on the other side, the east side of the uh, the third precinct. I can see, I don't know if you can see, uh, there's a cloud of, uh, of obviously tear gas over there in the direction of the third precinct. And uh, just beyond that, uh, that section of the street there, I do see a large line of protesters and signs. So apparently the police officers that were responding on the side that I'm at are now falling back to that side and enforcing that line. I'm gonna try to keep going in there. I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to go in there. But you'll see what I see. Oh, the line is broken. What we were witnessing were the cops once again uh, <laughs> What we were witnessing, witnessing of the police leaving, they weren't regrouping and resetting. They were, uh, or they were fleeing. They were retreating. They were retreating. The police line is broken. The police line is broken. The, say again, the police line that was set up here on Lake Street at the third precinct is broken. This is two, two losses in a row, back-to-back -back losses by law enforcement by these determined protesters. Once again, Minnesota, Minneapolis law enforcement, National Guard has retreated from the protesters.
What looks like thousands of protesters have just driven off the National Guard and the Minneapolis Police, Minnesota Police Agencies that were here trying to enforce both the curfew and a three block radius surrounding the third precinct. Again, law enforcement National Guard has retreated. Protesters are celebrating their uh, victory. We'll find out if it's temporary or not as the night unfolds here. South side Minneapolis, ground zero of the uh, George Floyd the murder by the Minneapolis Police Department uh, protesting. Uh, last night, all these fencing that you're seeing in front of me uh, right now, those were all pushed down or pulled down uh, by the protesters last night when they overran the uh, third precinct. Those have been reassembled. Sorry, fellas, go ahead. Yeah. So right now we're looking at the back of the third precinct, Minneapolis Police Department that was uh, overthrown and commandeered uh, by protesters slash looters, rioters, whatever you want to call it. Last night, uh, roughly around 10, between 9 and 10 p.m., I believe, I'm getting that right, uh, it was overthrown by the protesters. Uh, and then the National Guard and police moved back in in the early morning hours. Uh, I think it was uh, 6, 7-ish maybe, when they reestablished control over here. Don't quote me on that, I don't know for sure. Uh, definitely a lot of fire damage on the inside. It's a mostly stone, stone and steel structure, so it's not gonna burn to the ground like some of these other ones will. But the inside is, uh, there's tremendous damage, it's a, it's a loss. This is the front of the Minneapolis uh, third precinct right here. Oh. Like people are taking uh, makeshift tours of the third precinct again. I'm here as an observer. I will not be participating in any of that. Uh, that right there on the ground is one of the uh, rentable uh, nice bikes. Uh, that's clearly not the nicest example of a nice bike. The third precinct, Minneapolis Police Department. This, oh, this, this is the police is. department. This is the police department well, that was overthrown last night. Let's go look. This is, uh, <laughs> I filmed this liquor store that's in front of me right now. I filmed that one uh, engulfed in flames last night. You can find it in my streams last night as it burned. I'm seeing people out here. Uh, it's like they're recycling, picking up cans, maybe. Are recyclables. Sir, can I talk to you for a second? My name's Joey Vincent. I'm with uh, Filter Free America. What are you doing down here? Just cleaning up. Man. Just cleaning up? Yeah. Is it feel something that you need to do? What, what, what's your motivation right now for being down here cleaning up a, a disaster area in the middle of a, of a protest? Makes you fried. Yeah, so I mean, like, destruction of my community, and I'm not proud of it, but I'm even less proud of, like, the deeper systemic issues, so it's the only meaningful, tangible thing that I feel like I can do. Okay. Awesome. Would you like to give your name? You don't have to, but if you'd like to like your name out there? Okay. Yes. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Flames uh, still smoldering. Still burning in the bottom basement area of this uh, uh, liquor store. It's uh, just right across the street from the uh, third precinct that was overthrown last night by the uh, uh, protest looter rioter combo. I don't need to point out that it's a total loss. These old buildings will not be rebuilt, they will be torn down. I guess rebuilt's not right, I guess repaired. They won't be repaired, they'll be turned down. There's no way that these are gonna recover. This is another building that must have burned after I uh, left this area last night. It was uh, 
it was vandalized, but uh, it wasn't burning. It's uh, clearly burned last night. I'll try to get a little impromptu interview with this uh, first aid person. Ma'am, can I talk to you? What are you What are you doing down here today? I am helping out people who need medical attention because of the tear gas. Okay, you, you got first aid supplies. Yes, yeah. we have food and we have water. We have granola bars. We have stuff to keep people going. For, yeah. uh, this is, this is uh, milk or magnesium yeah. there to spray into the milk eyes. With water yeah. and we spray it in the eyes to help them when they have tear gas or any uh, mace in their eyes. We have baby soap for like when people get mace and it sticks to their skin, it yeah. burn their skin. Burn, uh, Show them what it did break. to your tongue oh, with tear gas. Yeah, let's see this. Holy shit. I one, got tear one more time, please. Twice. Holy shit. And that was here at the Lake Street protest. Holy uh, shit. That was two nights ago. Okay. Have you had any uh, interactions with anybody injured yet tonight? Um, not that we've Thankfully, seen no. so far. The closer we get, so I'm sure we, we might started, run into somebody. So. Yeah, I can tell you right now there's a group of, there's a homeless encampment just on the other side of Hiawatha right there underneath the bus shelter. Yeah, they okay. were just sitting there as they were shooting the tear gas grenades into the protesters and they were they were hit directly. Yeah, so they okay. they had no protection whatsoever. Calling, uh, yeah, thank yeah, no problem. Tear. Now, uh, those of you who are, are following the uh, still unfolding, still completely determined story of the possible agent provocateur, uh, a white gentleman in black with a mask and an umbrella, you see Videos floating around of him breaking windows. These are the windows he was breaking right here. These windows I'm showing you right now are the ones that they're breaking. Uh, he broke, right? Now, to give you some perspective as he's breaking these windows, step over, one, two, three. Now you're looking at the third precinct. Okay, that's the third precinct. On that roof right there, during the time that he was breaking those windows, definitely right there were multiple law enforcement officers in a sniper nest type position. But he was right here, walking around this building, breaking windows, and it is presumed, not not verified yet, based on the uh, the color of the uh, the stains on his gloves, and the what looked like a could have been a not, not for sure, but looked like a spray can in his left pocket. We wonder if these were also his doing. I didn't see any video that showed him doing that. Free shit for every zone. Or she shit for, or excuse me, free shit for freedom zone, I guess, all together. There. But this is the auto zone right here. I'm not going to step in, but I'll stick my camera in there. I'll let you see. I see people, I hear people right now yelling at uh, what are rioters or looters yelling, don't break the library. Don't break the library. I don't, I don't know where the library is down there. I'm assuming it's very close if I can hear them yelling. But there are some protesters scolding other protesters slash rioters about not destroying the library. Again, you can, you can take any political slant you want here. You can be pro this, con this, somewhere in the middle. Uh, but you're a goddamn liar if you can't if you don't think that there's actually compassion of people down here doing what they feel is right, trying to help, trying to do the right thing. Say what you will, this is the reality. Do not let the mainstream media dictate the narrative of what's going down here.